Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I am back. I still sound a little nasally and all that stuff, but I'm here. So if you're watching replay, thank you for watching. Um, I have missed everybody. There's some people hopping on, yay! I'm so excited to be here to chat with all my friends. Uh, I've missed everybody. I was couch bound and sick and all this stuff. Hey Beth, how are you? So I'm just kind of going to get this started because we got to paint. Hey Sherry. Hey Kelly. I'm glad to be back too. I was, <laughs> that sign of stuff about got me down. Hey Melanie. Hey Kathy. I'm so glad y'all are here and I'm here. I missed, I promise I missed y'all. I was like, oh no. But y'all didn't want me to come live because I was coughing and sneezing and all that stuff. Hey Terry, hey Beverly. And I was uh, just cruddy, just plain out cruddy. Hey Lou, yes, I'm better, I am better, I'm better. Hey Barney, anniversary follower. There's all kinds of different little things up here. They, Facebook's doing some stuff. Hey Ann, yes, I'm feeling better. I still sound real nasally, um, but I am way better than I was um, last week. Hey, hey April, yay! So I'm just kind of getting my stuff together. Hey Beverly, hey Judy. It's so good to see y'all, I promise, because I was just like miserable. I still got circles under my eyes, but I mean, I'm still kind of Drowned in a little bit, but it's better. <laughs> hey, Linda. Hey, Linda. <laughs> and I'm still coughing some. I'm trying to chew ice and water. Well, it's not water, it's Coke. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling better, G. So I'm still, you know, I took some cough medicine before I came live because I thought, I don't want to cough. Um, I'm glad I'm back too, Sherry. <laughs> Did a sneak peek of their shirts on face. Oh, Sheila, don't even get me started. I'll get off my live and when I get off and go sit on the couch and start ordering shirts. <laughs> I need to go look. Yay, Nana, thank you. Yes, I'm better. Um, so, I've had this craft. Been thinking about it a while because I've had a lot of time on my hands when I was, you know, having a relationship with the couch for several days. Yeah, Susan, it's allergies, and then it turns into sinus, and then I cough, and it goes down in here, and all that stuff. I mean, I was, I was sick. I get sick with them really bad. <laughs> Laura, you went to the store and got some the yarn. Oh, you're not going to be able to stop making those gnomes. I'm just going to tell you. I have a whole box up there from last year that I made because I couldn't quit making them, and they're just in a box. <laughs> I don't know what an anniversary follower is. I have no idea what that is. I just saw it, too, and I'm wondering... And then there's a milestone follower there. I don't know what all that is. That's all new stuff. I have no idea. Y'all are seeing it with me. And I'm like, what is that? So anyway. All right. So these are. Let me get them over here. These are the big paint sticks from Walmart. My husband went and picked these up for me today. He's like, I need some. Because I went to get stuff out to make this. Well, to get it all ready. And I was like, I don't have any paint sticks. And so he was out and about today. And I was packing orders, and I said, I need some paint sticks. So, he went to Walmart and got me some. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Okay. So, I'm just getting them lined up, and I've got... These come three to a pack, and they are the five-gallon ones. This is just something that's going in my head, and it's changed colors in the past a uh, little while since I planned this out earlier. And in the last probably 30 minutes... I've changed my mind on the color. <laughs> so, um, I may shop some of y'all tonight. But, you know, it's okay because uh, I'm hoping it's going to turn out the way I want it to look. Oh, one year anniversary. That's so weird that they're doing that. Oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, Tammy's and made several gnomes. Okay. So, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight paint sticks of the big ones. And they come three to a pack. So, I used... Two and a half packs to make, you know, my little deal here. Oh, Colin must be on. Lots of rain in your area. We got some rain last night in the middle of the night, but. Um, and I have 
four little sticks of the little paint sticks. And those are going to be, you know, and I, I took my, well, I got to show y'all what happened. I hope Lindy's watching. Yay, Lisa. Okay. Oh, you love my apron? Yeah, I'm, I don't want to get paint on my shirt, so I wore an apron tonight. Yes, Chris, I'm feeling lots better. I still feel like I'm kind of underwater, but it's better. Um, my little saw, my Dollar Tree saw has bit the dust. This is probably the second one I've had. Um, and it has died, so I had to show it to y'all because I was cutting these and I broke it. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm telling y'all I'm going to cough. Um, so anyway, so all I did with my little paint sticks, the little gallon ones, is I cut off about right there. I just cut the handle off. And I'll save the handle because, you know, I'm going to do stuff with it. Because I'm going to put those across here. You know how I do my, like a little shutter kind of thing. I'm just trying to make a background for what I'm going to make. Um, and this was the best way that, um, hey, Lindy, this is the best way that I knew how to make a background for what I want to do. Lindy, look at my saw. I've got to get another one. I broke it today trying to um, saw my little paint sticks. Yeah, Cynthia, that's kind of what I have was upper respiratory kind of deal going on. Ugh, it's miserable. And this time of the year is just bad for me. All right, so I've got all my sticks, my big sticks lined up, and I've got the handles, you know, i got them opposite every other one. Hey, Christine, I know a lot of people are sick right now. So let's see, I'm going to either take, she did a trees. Oh, those trees right there, yeah. I did those a few couple of weeks ago on the live. So I'm going to I'm going to um put my y'all know what I'm saying, my brace on the back of my sign to try to get it um all my sticks together. So that's what I'm doing. Yes, Rex saying that was my little saw and I broke it. So I got to get me another one at the dollar tree. All right, come on, glue. I like my little saw. I made Lindy get a saw so she can cut her crepe myrtle branches. The little saw is, is definitely worth a dollar for sure. All right, so I'm just putting the back brace on all my, all my little um, paint sticks because I'm just creating my little surface that I'm gonna do. Yes, Kathy, I did. I had to get antibiotics. Um, I have terrible, terrible, terrible sinuses. Like my old, um, my old ENT doctor, he told me he had his top two worst patients were, was I was the second one, his wife was the first one, because <laughs> I have terrible sinuses, like terrible. I've had surgery, sinus surgery twice, um, but yeah, I, I have bad sinuses. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got so far. So I got one across the back. <coughs> Excuse me, I told y'all I was going to cough. So I'm just going to take some big popsicle sticks and I'm just going to kind of reinforce it here and there um, to where it all stays together. Y'all know the process, right? Y'all know this process. But I'm so glad to be back on here. Hey, Doris. What does the saw look like? Well, it's like this. and has a little blade that goes in here and you can see this little plastic piece I broke off. But the little blade goes in here, and it does really good. It saws really well, but um, I broke the little plastic piece here, and, you know, it's it's toast. But I'll just pick up another one for a dollar. I try to keep them just because I can cut, like, these with them. You know, just different things. Hey, Terry. Hey, Linda. Yes, I'm feeling better. I don't sound a lot better, but... um. I love the little sound the saw makes. So I'm just taking these bigger craft sticks and you can cut one of these um, paint sticks in half and you can definitely, you know, reinforce the back like what I'm doing here. Cause we're not gonna see the back. Okay, so this is what the back looks like. So I just kind of put a couple here and I'm, I'm backwards so y'all bear with me. So, you know, here and here, just so they're all together and it's one whole piece like this. And I'm going to use it up and down this way this time. <coughs> we did this the other, the, well, the other day. It's been a few weeks ago when I did the thankful sign, and we did it this way. 
and we wove in and out of here with that ribbon. It was really pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be back. So anyway, so I'm doing the same principle as the background because this is an inexpensive way to do a background, you know, just to make you a wood background. So the little paint sticks, these, these paint sticks, um, I cut the handle off. So I would just have, you know, a straight piece. And I'm going to put these down here at the bottom, kind of like a shutter. So that's going to cover up that handle part some. Because we're going to put something really pretty on here. And I hope it comes out the way it is in my mind. But we'll see. But it's kind of changed. It's morphed itself over the last hour or two. Marcedia, that's exactly the way I am. I, I have terrible allergies. And, but seasonal stuff, it gets me every time. But it's just terrible. It is terrible. But I'm all, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But yeah, they tested me for everything. Strep, all the, and all the other stuff. All of it was negative, so I was thankful. But I felt so bad. All right, so I'm just gluing my pieces on. Gigantic paint sticks. They came from Walmart. And they're three to a pack in the paint section. And they have like a little label like that. So, um, that's where you get those. My glue stick is acting all crazy. I thought I needed another one, but I didn't. Okay, so here is, so that's what that looks like at the top. So I'm going to come down at the other end and put these two at the other end. Yay, you got your screen door. See, there's my little screen door up there. Isn't it cute? It looks, I was so proud of that little screen door. And that was before I got sick, wasn't it? That was like that Monday. Come on. The glue gun wants to act all crazy. It doesn't want to push it down in there for some reason. Stop. Maybe I can use this one to push it with. Sometimes it just acts weird. So I'm just gluing them over the hand, you know, the start of the handles of this, of these paint sticks. Liposomal vitamin C. I've taken it all. I, I feel like I take it all, but I've done allergy shots and the whole thing and all that, and that didn't help, and I've done it all. So, I just have to learn to how to live with it and um, take my medicine. Harbor Freight and get a table saw. Woo! So, the little table saw? No, Veronica, it's, I've had it since July. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I got it for my best friend. For uh, it's the same heart that she has on her. She had on her foot when she, and she passed away. Okay, so here's my background, and I started to build it ahead of time, but I thought no. Then they'll be like, why didn't you wait? You should have done it with us. So I waited. I started a little sniffle. Yeah, I was, and it's just allergies in this time of the year. So I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put a Christmas tree on here, okay? And I'm going to show you what we're going to make the tree out of so y'all can kind of help me with the background because I'm thinking I was, I was going to do white and then I was going to distress it a little with gray or something, but I'm kind of leaning toward black. Y'all know I've been doing this black and white thing over here. Um, oh, the little mini table saw at Harbor Freight. Okay, but the tree, we're going to make the tree out of this stuff from Hobby Lobby. It's that metal uh, ribbon stuff that you can get in the ribbon aisle. And it goes on sale when the ribbon's on sale. So, this was $4.99 for this little roll. And I don't know how much this was because I've already used some of it. And um, it, goes on, it goes on half off when the ribbon's half off. So, be sure to look for it. But it's in the floral section where the ribbon is. So, um, I was thinking I'm going to make my tree out of this stuff. Okay? But my thought was is that to sh for every for the 
to show through the little holes and show all of the um, the little filigree stuff, I thought black would be really pretty. Let me find something black to hold up against it. Well, I don't have anything black. Anyway, I got my saw handle. But see how you be able to see all the little filigree stuff? So I'm thinking I'm gonna do black. Like It'd be like nighttime. So that's what I'm thinking of that. Hey, Caroline. Hey, Mickey. I'm glad to see y'all. Little table saw. I, I've seen people with the little table saw. So I'm thinking that I need a little table saw, but I don't know. <laughs> like I need something else in this room. I don't know how I could possibly get anything else in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Billy. Yeah, I made the crosses with that metal ribbon um, this past spring, I think. I don't know what size that can cut. I'm going to have to see. Okay, Barbara says black. I've seen a couple of people say black. I think I, I want to do the black just... Well, yeah, I could have held it up to my shirt. Isn't that a goofball? Um, my shirt is black. Rhea, I just thought... Y'all, I'm so crazy. Um, so, I'm thinking I wanted to do black because I just wanted to be something different. And then, you know, doing it white and distressing it with gray. And, you know, I, I feel like I do that all the time. So I'm kind of thinking black because I want this stuff. I want you to be able to see the filigree stuff. <laughs> Jane, y'all are all like, duh, you're shark sleeve. And I'm over here like, um, bluish black would be pretty. That would be pretty. Okay. So I'm thinking people are saying black, 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 but we can do something to the black. It's not just going to be flat black. So yeah. Let's do it. Let's just let's just do it. Let's live on the edge. Let's live on the edge and just see. And if it doesn't look good, I guess I'll just take it all off and do it again and paint it. Yeah, y'all are all just like the obvious. Your shirt sleeve is black and I'm over here just in a fog brain or something still. Okay. All right. So, got my, this is just uh, Waverly ink black. And I love to paint this. Uh, that black on furniture. It works really good. I've done the white too, but the black's just so pretty. It's just really, really black. Because <laughs> I painted an end table with it. Oh, Kristen's recovering from surgery. I hope you're doing well. Okay, so yes, we're going with black. So we can sit here and chit chat, and I'm trying to make room for all the stuff. So, that would be beautiful. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to be different. Why can't we be different? We don't always have to do it um, the same way we always have, right? We can just be a little different and be non-traditional, but I'm not like going gothic or anything. I'm just doing the background and we'll add some little a white in there too, but I just kind of thought this would be pretty. So we're going to do that. Thank you, honey and lemon. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all should have heard me about four or five days ago. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> it was bad. It was bad. When I say I was in a relationship with my couch, I'm not kidding you. Um, <laughs> I was... But... Yes, black. Okay. I'm kind of liking this black and white Christmas thing, but I don't, I just don't know that I could fully decorate my whole tree black and white. I just don't know if I could do it, but, um, our tree, um, we do like traditional ornaments, like all the ornaments have a story, you know, and every time we put the ornaments on the tree, we all tell the story of all each ornament and where the ornament came from and where we bought it and you know, this is so-and-so when they were a baby, and they made this when they were in the third grade, and, you know, that kind of tree. So, um, but I do have black and white buffalo check. Um, black paint, I get it everywhere. That's why I kind of wore my apron, because I was like, if I'm messing with this black, and I've got on my Deidre shirt tonight, and I don't want to get black paint on it. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, I better grab my apron. <clears throat> I hadn't worn an apron in forever. Y'all, this might take me forever to do this. Hey, Linda. 
But this might be pretty. Because, you know, we did the pumpkin. Remember the black pumpkin we painted? <sighs> you watched Lindy make her candy today. Yes. I got to make that candy. She raves about how good it is. So, I've got to make it. I mean, you had me a butter and crackers and sugar, right? And a little chocolate on top. But, um, but you know, we did the black pumpkin. And why don't I just do this? Um, and remember, y'all were all worried about the pumpkin I did. Oh, you did a black and white tray, Carol? Yeah, I, I want to. I may take my red and black buffalo check out this year and just do the white and black buffalo check so it's gonna be kind of black and white um but all of our ornaments are just you know we have a blended family of course but it's a hodgepodge of our story our family story from our honeymoon and beach sand from our honeymoon and you know this vacation we went on and you know ornaments like that so it's not like a department store tree which i think is really pretty and one day, I guess I'll have that, or I'll have, have to get another tree and do two trees and have a department store tree and then have a family tree. But then I think about, oh, then I have to take all that down. And <laughs> Who has time? I'm crafting. Who has time? <laughs> oh, no, your back's hurting. You was in the recliner all week. Ugh. I... I was down like all day Wednesday and we got medicine and all that stuff. And then I thought, okay, Thursday, I've got to be better. I got to get up and I got to start doing something. Thursday came and I was like, no, I just can't. I can't. It's ink. It's the Waverly uh, ink. So it's, and it's like the blackest black paint ever. And it looks fabulous on furniture. Because I painted an end table with it and it is Beautiful. I got tired of the color it was, so I just broke it out one day and started painting. Oh gosh, my nose is itching now. <sighs> Get a moidal who are yes, I need to do that, Lindy. You ask her how much uh, she charges to decorate my home for Christmas. <laughs> no, I like to do it, but yes, Nancy, putting it up is fun, but taking it down is not. But it's just, and I say every year, I'm going to go through all of my Christmas stuff. But when I put it up and I'm going to throw stuff away or donate stuff and get rid of stuff. No, nope, doesn't happen. You just end up throwing it all back in the bin and say, oh, I'll do it next year. Oh, my nose is itching. Oh, you have ornaments everywhere you travel. So, I think that's cool. So, Craig and I have an ornament from, several of them from our honeymoon in so we have to tell the story about that place we were or wherever and, you know, beach sand and we have all those kinds and stuff like that. Pictures, ornaments, five trees, Donna. Oh my word. When do you start? Like now? Jeez. That is a lot of trees. Okay. Okay. Where's my paint? All right, I'm almost done because I'm not gonna paint the back with y'all. I'll paint it later. I tell y'all that all the time that I paint it. I'll paint it later, and sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, five trees. I can't imagine. Are they like full size trees? Yes, Patty. Thank you. I am feeling better, but yeah. When I get to sinus stuff, it, like, gets me down. And my family's like, oh, my gosh, you're so pitiful. I'm like, I know, it's bad. <sighs> Pouring rain today in the 90s Thursday. Jeez. I know, and the weather changing doesn't help. It's, like, hot one day here and 90 degrees, and then the next day it's 70. So, yeah. Good thing about this is it's going to be dry down there by the time we like, get finished up here. I know y'all are like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever to paint that thing. Four, Debbie has four trees. Goodness gosh. Goodness gosh. I love it though. I mean, I I wish I had a time, the time and the, I guess the places to, well, I guess I could put that many trees up, but 
to have the places to put full trees. Like, it's beautiful though, but it is a lot of work for sure. And here's what happens to me. Let me see if I got that. Yeah, I did. That edge right there. I can see it on the camera. Here's what I do. Here's what happens to me. I'll be like, well, it's only up for a month. Do I really want to put all that up for work for a month? Um, hey, Teresa. Clear a lot of Christmas this year. Still have too much. I have a lot too, and I need to get rid of it. And You accumulate it somehow. I don't know. But I'm like, do I want to put all that up for a month? And then I have to take it right back down. That's that's what that's how I rationalize it in my head, I guess. Am I the only one that does that? <coughs> yes, excuse me, I don't have the star at the bottom. Facebook took that away from me back in May. <laughs> so I don't know. Hey Susanna! two trees last year. I did a craft tree because all the ornaments that people sent me and all the ornaments that we made, um, I put them on a tree and made a whole craft tree. Yep. Leave it up through January. <laughs> nine trees, Patricia. Oh, gosh. Now, Patricia, is, she's over the top now. She's got nine a theme tree in every room. Jeez. Okay. It's almost dry. Sharon, you do the same thing. I, I'm, I, take, I just do that. I'm like, okay, Vanessa's that way too. Yay. Because I'm like, it's only up for a month. And then I got to take it all right back down. November 1st and take it out as first year. Okay, so Jenny gets hers. She gets what, two... Um, two months or so out of it. Uh, thank you, Regina. It's okay. It's okay that they're not there. It's fine. Okay, Carla decorates hers for all the seasons. Oh, Pam, really? I would love to know who that is. Just because I would love to reach out to them and say, okay, <coughs> what in the world's going on? Cheryl can't seem hard. Hmm. I don't know. It's almost dry, and then we're going to start making our tree. Two trees that year round. It's right before Thanksgiving. Yes, Catherine, the little yard gnomes, they're so addicting. I'm just going to tell you. They are. I made a whole box of them last year, and they're up in a box up here. I can make a, I can decorate a whole tree with just those. Um, the paint color is called ink. Wait, Waverly, and the color is just ink. That's their black. A Snoopy tree in the kitchen, cute. All right, I think we're dry as dry as gonna be. Oop, maybe not. Six big trees. Oh my goodness. Oh, you picked a little tree up. Oh, thank you, Linda. I'm glad you're here. Yay, hey, Wanda. Ink is the color of the black chalk paint. Yes, all right. And I almost forgot to put paper down on my table, but I did. I'm gonna get that crack. It's not dry in between there, but it's gonna be okay. All right, so now, whew, I turn that off. All right, I'm going to see which is going to be my, I don't guess it matters, the top and the bottom. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use this metal ribbon stuff from Hobby Lobby to make the tree. But I think I'm going to, uh, before I put my tree down, I think I'm going to take a little bit of white. And this is just regular craft white paint. Um, tree goes up after Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's what I usually put mine up is like Thanksgiving weekend, maybe. And I put way too much white paint out. Yeah, this is five gallon paint sticks from Walmart. And then the regular one gallon ones, I sawed them off. 
and I made like kind of like a shutter. Looks like we're making a Halloween craft, but we're really not. Because <laughs> we're going to make it uh, Christmas. Just, just wait for it. We're going to make it Christmas. Grandson, aw, you decorated for him. Bless your heart. Okay, that probably was not the smartest idea in the world, Lee. I got water that's got black paint in it, so the water's black, and I'm going to put it in white paint. Don't think that's going to work. So I was smart enough to get a, two things of water. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to put a little water in my paint, in my white paint. And I'm going to hope that this is going to turn out the way I want to. So I'm going to take it. Okay, that's my paintbrush. A little water, a little white paint. And let's just hope this works. And I'm going to... Yay! I'm splattering it just a little. And yes, it's getting all over my arms. Whew. Everywhere. Y'all know I got an apron on now. I'm glad I put it on. So if you'll just kind of get... It's, it's watery white paint, and then just kind of tap, tap, and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. I got to back way up because I don't want to get it on me. Okay. Oh, it's a mess. Y'all, my arms are covered in white splatter paint. When you had a big house, had five trees. Oh my goodness. I didn't get it on my sleeves though, so I'm good. But I got it on my arms. <laughs> hey, Vicky. Okay, so I'm going to hold it up a little bit so y'all can see what it looks like. So I just splattered it with white, and I'm going to dry that really quick. <coughs> oh, we got an LSU tree. I see. <laughs> so I kind of want it, it could either look like stars or it could look like snow. Yes, I, Tommy, I am kind of sniffly. I'm still a little, I feel like I'm drowning at times. Because it's like, I take something to dry you up, and then you get stopped up, and then you take something to decongest, and so it's like a catch-22. All right, so see how it's looking? Yes, Kaylee, I think so, too. I think it's going to look good. Yeah, I think my sleeves are good. But it does go everywhere. I'm just going to warn you if you do that. It's little splatters everywhere. Aw. Uh, Red, it's okay. As long as you have a tree. Don't matter if it's little big. It doesn't matter. This is looking really pretty. But I am going to have to dry it. Good. Just because I don't want to smear my, my snow or my stars or whatever we're going to go for because it might turn into snow. I don't know yet. I haven't even thought that far. Oh, silver splatters would be pretty too. Yes. It's neat on the black. Yeah, I think the black is, is going to look really striking. Now I'm wanting to do silver splatters on here. <laughs> They take too long to dry because it is kind of watery, so they make it makes little puddles. So I'm kind of getting it, trying to get them all dry, so I don't smear any. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it up and let y'all see it up close. See it? Isn't that pretty? So far, looks like in a galaxy far, far away. Looks like Star Wars, the beginning of Star Wars, where yeah, I'm a nerd. Sorry. How many sticks did I use? Eight, I think. Yes, eight. And then I used two little ones and then two little ones down here. So I kind of made like a shutter. And then that's the back. That's how the back is attached. I put a big one across and then the these. Just so it, it's all secured. All right. So there we go. So now we're going to start making our tree. And so this is the stuff you get from Hobby Lobby. It comes on a roll. It's in the floral ribbon section. Um, and I'm actually going to cut off this end because I was messing with it today and bending it, trying to see what I could do. Uh, hey, Sheila. You're okay? So I'm going to cut this off because I was um, 
bending it and it's all kind of bending. All right, so now I'm gonna get down here. Let's do it this way. This stuff's not easy to work with, so you kind of have to play with it. So I'm gonna kind of measure and I wanna use, y'all know I cheat with my tablecloth. So use everything you have, like opportunity to be able to measure. You know, use the lines on these paint sticks because we know they're all the same size. So I'm gonna go from this paint stick to this paint stick over here. And I know I'm gonna kind of be even. Let me cut this straight though. I'll look away, I don't wanna pop myself in the eye. Okay. So I'm gonna measure from this paint stick to that paint stick. So I'll know exactly where I wanna cut the bottom piece of my tree. All right, so this is gonna be the bottom. It looks like the Milky Way. Yes, Kathy, it does. White tree, Arkansas Razorback ornament. So here you go. <laughs> y'all like y'all's y'all's college team trees, don't you? Okay, so there's my bottom piece. But now, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Where I wanted the filigree stuff to show through, the black to show through. Um, and I still may put a little green on this. I'm just reading. <laughs> so yeah, if y'all think I should like add some celery or I have moss, maybe here and there on my silver, y'all tell me while I'm cutting this out. So I use my lines and I cut from this line to that, you know, this crack to that crack. So I know, you know, it's how that's going to be. So now I'm going to do the next one. And my, my first idea was I have two different kinds and this one doesn't have holes. It just has this. So I thought, well, I can alternate it, but I don't know. Let's cut this zip tie. Okay, so I'm trying to see. I don't know if I should alternate it. I think I'm gonna alternate it. I think that will break it up maybe a little bit. I don't know. Hey, Rhonda from Texas. I thought I cut this thing, what happened? Oh, I did. It has two. Okay. So, I think I'm going to alternate. This is the skinny. And then this is, you know, this is, there's two different kinds. So, I think I'm going to alternate it. Um, but I'm going to go just a little shorter this time on, you know, where it staggers it off a little. So, I know exactly where to cut. I'm going to just put my finger there. Green ribbon. I can weave down the center. Ooh. That would be like, that would be pretty, but there would be little bitty, the metal something. There, oh, this is metal ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Like this is, this whole roll, and it says it's nine feet is $4.99. And then when the ribbon goes half off, this is half off too, but it's in the floral section. Um, Mississippi State, MSU small tree every year. Cool. Okay, so there's my little piece. My next piece. And then now I'm going to go just a little smaller with this one. And we're just building up our tree. Uh, okay. And these things cut the stuff wonderfully. But you could use a big, you know, pair of ki big kitchen scissors. Or um, you could use an uh, old pair of scissors. Second color green would look nice. Okay, uh, let's see. So I'm just kind of getting a smaller every time. I go up and I'm gonna move this up on here because we're gonna put a little trunk on it and everything. Green paint without the holes, alternate green paint. That would be pretty, yes, we may have to alternate it. Okay, so yeah, this is the ribbon. It's really, it's ribbon, but it's metal, but it's in the floral section. So you gotta shop the whole store at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> they have ribbon all over the store. The gift wrap section, don't forget about that. I told y'all about those little curly things and I have those out here actually that come, whoop, that come from the gift wrap section. Like this is really, this is real ribbon, it's in paper. So don't forget about these because I buy these at Christmas and I use them all during the year like in my bows and stuff. Um, let's see. 
Hey, Carolyn, welcome. She is new. All right. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so there's that one. Now I gotta go a little, each time I go, I go about that much smaller. Every time I go up. This is gonna be so pretty, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm already loving it and I hadn't even got it together. This thing is. But I have to put a zip tie back around this whole roll when I get done. Because it'll just like wind all out and go crazy. Alright. That piece. Y'all. I, I want y'all just to look at it right now. Just the way it is. I hadn't even got it, nothing done to it. And it is so pretty. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, hey, you're not, I didn't see who that was. It's really late, but it's fine. I'm just glad you're here. And yes, I'm feeling better. I don't, I sound like I'm drowning now because I kind of am. But, um, let me cut that one a little bit more. Just be careful. Don't put y'all's eyes out. You should try out. <laughs> Am I the only one that likes that? Are you going to put a trunk on it? <laughs> Tanya, you can't crap, but you can help. That's right. Okay. We're getting smaller and smaller, and I think this is probably going to be the top. Maybe. It's going to be pretty. Okay. So, let me see if I can't just kind of show it to y'all this way. It's not even attached or anything, but y'all, this is going to be so pretty. Um, yes. No, the metal ribbon, is it two-sided? Yeah, it just has... It's like the design is on here, and then this is like the opposite. Like, you know, it's mashed into the metal, but look how pretty. Uh, and then this is the other one. So, it's like bumped out on this side, and then this side is like in. So, yeah, you could use either side. Yes, I cannot wait to see it done either. So, let's... I'm going to have to decide about the green. I'm thinking I need a little bit of green on it. Because um, I don't want it to be totally just um, black and white. Which, it'd be pretty. Alright, i got moss. And I've got celery. You're going to shoot your eye out. Yes, Christmas Story. I love that movie. Some people hate it. All right, I'm just getting a little out here because I don't need much. This is celery. You can use any green you want or you don't have to use any color. Um, thank you, Tara. Okay. This moss has probably not been opened in a very long time, but it looks okay. I shook it up before I went live, so ugh. I was hoping that would help. Okay. Let me see. I don't have a chip brush. Hang on, let me grab this chip brush. Lindy, are you counting how many times I get up? Just this once. Just once. I'm only gonna get up once. Oh, I sit on my leg, y'all. I shouldn't do that, but I do. Okay, so the bottom piece is the big piece. All right, so I'm going to I'm probably just gonna do a little bit because there's there's not a whole whole lot of difference in these colors. I'm probably just gonna get a little bit of some on my brush. And I'm just gonna lightly, I'm just kind of putting a little bit of both. And I'm just gonna tap it all over it. So I don't want it to completely cover it, but we got that hint of green, okay? I don't want it to cover it totally. But these, are, these colors are so close together that I don't think if I alternated it, you would notice very much. So I'm just kind of tapping it, and we're going to let them dry. So you got well, some spots of light and some spots of darker, and then the silver's kind of showing through. So it looks a little vintage-y. That's your husband's favorite movie. I like that in Christmas Vacation, of course. Can't not have Christmas Vacation. So see, just a little. All right. Plus, I don't want to get too much because it'll take it forever to dry. 
lot yeah they're large paint sticks from walmart the five gallon ones and then this is metal ribbon from hobby lobby that i cut staggering up like a tree and i painted that surface black and then i splattered white on it yep had to get a few things from hobby lobby only a few <laughs> okay So I hope y'all are excited about the snowman garland. I got about half the orders packed today and I'll probably pack the rest of them tomorrow. Got green fingers. Um, and the Mary sign, they're so cute. But I will be restocking the um, the snowman bead garland. I'll be restocking that probably Wednesday or Thursday. And I'm gonna come live and show y'all how to do it. Um, it's not hard, but I include the jute and everything, so I'm going to show you how many times to wrap it and all that stuff. Yeah, Vicky, that cat rug last year. Oh, my goodness, yes. Kaylee, we cannot be friends. If you have not seen Christmas Vacation, you we cannot be friends. I'm calling you out. <laughs> A leg lamp for Christmas. That's hilarious. Okay, I got my stuff drying over here. And here are my, just some little pieces of wood that I had in my stash. So this is gonna be my tree stump or tree trunk or, y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so I'm using my lines again. I'm cheating, so I'm going in and I know exactly where the center is. So I'm gonna put my little, my tree stumps down. I'm just gonna put two side by side so it doesn't look skinny with just one. They're just little pieces of wood I had. <sighs> You're watching Christmas movies and me at the same time? Awesome. Christmas vacation, yes. Kaylee, that's your assignment. You gotta watch that this week. All right, so I got that going. And I'm gonna have to Speed up my drying over here. That's terrible. I don't want to touch it because I bet it gets hot. A little bit. Karen, you gotta watch it every year, at least twice. I'm so funny. Y'all are funny. Haley's never seen it. Karen hasn't seen it in a very long time. I haven't seen it probably since. December, but it will be, um, oh, yeah, Paula, you could, you could cut wine corks in half. You sure could. That would look really cool. And go get some sticks in your yard and make you a little trunk. Yes, Kaylee, that's your assignment. Susan, they came that way, um, I don't even know where I got them from. I was just digging through my stuff trying to find something. Yes, Gail, I'm still a little bit, I feel fine. I just am still real, I feel like I'm drowning. All right, it's almost dry. But yes, this stuff does get hot with the heat gun. But it looks so pretty. Okay, Hallmark. Hallmark has their Christmas movies. Yes, I knew that they were coming on this weekend. I knew that they people had said when I was watching Pretty Woman, they were watching Chris, Hallmark Christmas movies. Okay, now this stuff, you see how it's like whoo, like that? It bends. So I'm going to kind of have to play with it a little bit to get it to lay down flat. Like that. Try to get it. Okay, but it looks really pretty. And let's just hope, hope that it's going to stay with hot glue that's that's my worry so remember i got my lines over here and it does get hot so i'm just going to tell y'all that right off the bat i don't do a lot of the hallmark christmas movies because i guess it's kind of like you've seen one you've seen them all but i'll get i'll get totally up in a movie like that though if i start watching it 
Um, I'll get all up in it. Okay, so we got we got first piece on. Look how pretty this is going to be. It's kind of looking like snowy. Yeah, I'll watch every time it's on. I'll watch Christmas Vacation. I don't care. Pretty Woman's the same way. I'll watch it the same way. <coughs> Use your roller to flatten it. That's a thought. I don't know what my, but like a, like a, um, rolling pin thing? I don't know. Okay. So I'm kind of just having to bend it a little bit, and my green paint is not completely dry, but it's okay. All right. And this glue gun is getting on my nerves and you kind of have to work fast because this does get warm oh, oh, oh it does get hot I have missed watching the scary movies before Halloween I hadn't seen a lot of them on this time I don't know why I've been binging uh, Netflix. I've been watching, catching up on Grey's Anatomy. Um, I stopped watching it years ago, and I've recently gotten back into watching it, so I've been binging it. Uh, Debbie, this is the ribbon from Hobby Lobby that comes in the floral section. It's on a roll like this, and it does go on sale when the ribbon goes on sale. All right. I'm just kind of bending it because it is kind of, you know, not flat. All right. This is looking so, so pretty. And I'm trying on this filigree-like one, I'm just trying to put the glue on the edge where it doesn't soak, seep through the holes where you see it. Ooh. That was my finger. So far, so good. I'm gonna hold it up so y'all can see it. Okay, look at this, how good it looks. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. See, you can see the green and the silver. That is so pretty. I love it. And you could even angle the sides, like cut the sides of the metal. You could even angle that off to where it looks like a triangle if you wanted to. I didn't even think about that, but white Christmas. I don't guess I've seen white Christmas. All right. This one's easy because it's already solid and you just have to run some down the back and not got all those holes in it, but I like the filigree. Okay. Oh, okay. The, so the ribbon is 50% off this week. Awesome. So this, like this roll right here, the smaller kind, it's $4.99 and it's nine feet of this. So this is going to last you a while. And I think this is like, I don't know how many feet this was on here. Or how much it was, but I've already used this on a couple of crafts, and so it'll last you a while. And then you can break it out and think about, oh, what can I use that for? I can use that metal stuff just to give it a little extra something, something, you know? It's just really pretty. And I don't, I have these two patterns, but I don't know if they have any other patterns, like the style of the, I don't remember how many they have. Oh, you decorate with your snowman. I love snowmen, too. Um, I have a lot of snowmen. Okay. All right. So, just kind of getting it straight again. Because it is on that roll, and then you handle it, and it's stuff. It kind of gets um, bent. But, if you didn't want to buy this ribbon, your other option would be to use a cookie sheet from the Dollar Tree. And you could cut strips. And then do the same thing I'm doing. Of course, it's not going to be filigree, but you would still have the silver and you would still have um, your, uh, ah, the silver and you could put green on it or whatever color you wanted and you would still have that effect and it would still be pretty. Try placing that thing. On the metal piece. I missed that. Okay. Y'all, this is so stinking pretty. Okay. Gets easier as the smaller they get. 
They have three different patterns. Okay, I only have two then, so they have three. I love it though. It's just, when you need just a little touch of something kind of with a little flair to it, I like this stuff. Glue in that hole. But it's sticking, so diamond dust. And I gotta get some diamond dust. I forget about it until y'all tell me about it. Okay. It's a wonderful life. I've never seen that either. I need to see a wonder. It's a wonderful life. I know I do. I just get stuck on something I like, like Christmas vacation, and I can't help myself. Okay. Are y'all ready? I love it. Look at how good this looks. I love how it looks. Isn't it pretty? Christmas in Connecticut. Not seen that. But look how pretty, 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 pretty this is. I think the black was the best choice for the background. I really do. I think the the um the black was the best choice. And that was a last minute decision. Um I was like, ugh. Okay, so now we gotta put something at the top. So y'all can look at it. Um, a messy bow is kind of what I planned, but I'll give y'all some options. I have these little like uh, clear little, these came from Dollar Tree. Um, these little snowflake little thingies. It looks like a wedding cake, Norma. <laughs> it does, don't it? Um, okay, so Gwen, I have to watch A Wonderful Life. Only if Kaylee watches, um, only if Kaylee watches Christmas Vacation. Hey, Kevin, it's good to see you. I'm so proud of your daughter. That is so awesome. Okay, so yeah, so this is that. And then I have these, or I have these snowflakes. I don't know if that will look good or not. I have messy bow, though. I can do a messy bow at the top. Um... I hope, yep, you have to go to the doctor and then go to, um, uh, to Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Catherine. Diamond dust. I gotta get some diamond dust. Y'all keep telling me about this diamond dust. White lace ribbon for the top. I have got at the table, <laughs> I've got some lace, little bitty lace, and I've got... This really pretty silver. I got this at Old Time Pottery when I was there last November with Deidre and her family. I got this. It's really pretty shiny silver. And little bitty buffalo check. And, of course, I've got this buffalo check. Um, so, I don't know. I like these little snowflakes. I'm just going to just take, I'm gonna just take one off of here and see what it looks like. So, they're just, like, clear. Let's see. So, I don't know if that's going to quite do it for me. It is pretty, but I don't know if that's going to quite do it. <laughs> Maybe if I put um, the bow, and then I put this on top of the bow. Classy like the tree. Y'all think so? Bling for the top. I have, I don't have anything big and blingy. I have like this. And then, what if I put, I can try to make a messy bow. We'll just see. Messy bow with a pretty lace ribbon you have. Okay, what about if I don't do buffalo check at all, and I do like lace and silver, and then put the snowflake on it. Why don't we just, why don't we just, we're just going to try something. Because if I don't use the bow, I'll use it for something else for sure. Okay. And I'm just going to cut just some pieces. You know, just little pieces. Yes, I think the blackboard did it, y'all. I'm just so stoked about the black. Yes, you could cut a star out of a cookie sheet. You sure could. And let's see. This silver ribbon is really pretty. It's like mesh. But it came from Old Time Pottery last year, and it's really, really, really sparkly, if that's a word. Sparkly. Let's 
and I may have to, I may have to just put a little bit of Buffalo Jack in there because it's the black and the white. Because that those two together aren't going to be enough to make me a full bow lace silver and snowflake. All right, but I'm going to try first. So, see, y'all really can't feel the effect of it, but it's really sparkly. <laughs> y'all can't see it good. Spread the love and look. Thank you, Pamela. Okay. So, messy bow. I think the messy bow with the snowflake will be pretty. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to put much buffalo check. And I can always take it out if I don't like it. Silver. Just a little bit. Okay. And I don't know where my ties are. Here they are. Let's see. It's going to be pretty. I just put one piece, two pieces of buffalo check in there. So it's not a lot. Trying to see which way this goes. And this is my zip tie. Yeah, it's Hobby Lobby Metal Ribbon is what it is. It's in the floral section where the, the floral ribbon is. Okay. That's how I get mine tight. I never can get them tight enough. But if we don't like this, I don't have to use it because I will use it on something else. Oh, a cluster of three snowflakes. That might be pretty too. I gotta get this paint away from my board before I get it on there. Star Wars. <laughs> Gabby's like, I love Star Wars. <laughs> a little green in the bow. I got some green. I can put a little greenery on the bow. All right, let's see. How did one side get to be longer than the other side? But I don't know. I always cut my stuff way too long and I end up having to trim so much of it off and I know I waste a lot of ribbon, but it is what it is. A little green. And this glitter is, is adding to my project because the glitter's coming off the ribbon and it's like snowing on my tree. And see, I just do my whole thing. Oh, y'all ought to see the glitter coming off. <laughs> um, all right. This is not wanting to do. I'm going to cut it down just a little because it's wanting to stick out like way too much. Okay. See? Isn't that pretty? Star Wars. I hadn't seen Star Wars since forever ago. All right. So let me hold it up and I'm gonna show you the, there's a little extra glitter on the board because my ribbon had glitter on it. All right, so there's the bow by itself. Woo there's the bow. And then I can put the snowflake and you may not can see it from where you are on there. Um, or, what do I have over here? I have, I'm dropping stuff. I have greenery. Lisa has never been to Hobby Lobby. Get out of here. That's your homework, Lisa. You gotta go to Hobby Lobby. Taking these little white balls off here. I'm thinking that that. I'm just pulling off some of this. What if I put some greenery behind my bow? Maybe. I don't know now. Now I'm going to confuse myself even more because I don't know what to do. <sighs> okay. See the greenery? Let me see if I can get it close. <laughs> I kind of put it behind the bow. Thank you, Mary. Just the bow. Somebody said just the bow. No greenery. Yeah, 
you need to go. I have to drive an hour to get back to one. Uh, a pop of red. Put some green paint on the glass. On the snowflake, put green on there. Everybody's getting homework tonight. <laughs> I gotta watch A Wonderful Life. Yes, Hobby Lobby is Disneyland for crafters, yes. So no greenery at the top. I like the greenery too, Wendy. I like the little pieces of greenery. Let's see. And I could put, let's see. If I did that and just kind of stuck it in there. Ugh. It's not doing what I want it to do. Okay. Stop. All right. So I just kind of stuck it in there just so y'all can see. And let it kind of... This may be one of those things where I um sleep on it. I think it's pretty. And y'all said red berries. I had to find me some red berries. I got some somewhere. I like the greenery too. Maybe if I... Maybe if I cut like a little bit off. A little branch or two where I can stick it better in the thing. Because it doesn't want to stay. I'm like covered in white paint and glitter. And it's Christmas time. Oh, once I watch A Wonderful Life, it'll be a yearly must. Okay, I trust y'all. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Hold on. All right. Stop. I'm trying to get my ribbon to act straight, like right. Here we go. So, I think I'm going to have to glue my greenery down. I'm just going to put a glob of glue and get it to stay. Yes, I think the greenery looks really pretty. Thank y'all for hanging in with me. It's all these little bitty detailed decisions that kind of you have to have kind of opinion about because it's like, well, it may look good to me, but then it might not look good. Um... To somebody else you know just because I think it looks good don't mean it's gonna look good and I'm gonna have to put some red or something in the but I don't know some berries I guess oh that hot <sighs> sorry for my sniffling and drowning Oh, she just added the Hallmark Channel for you. Bless ya. It's the little things in life, right? Silver, old silver star cookie cutter. I don't. Okay. All right, so there's what I got so far. Look how cute it is. Meet me in St. Louis. That's a good name. Y'all, look at it. So cute. And then, I don't know if I need to put the snowflake. Because the snowflake, y'all really can't see. But it's just clear. And it just gives it a little bit of kind of a classy bling to it. But I don't know. I like it with the greener and the bow, too. And it kind of, the bow, it makes the bow kind of puff up a little. And the snowflake is pretty. Just wondering, <sighs> red berries would be pretty. Yes, I don't even know where my, I don't even have any red berries close by. Let's see, something. What if I put a little white on my snowflake? Because I've got five more on here. I can use it if I, and I can always wipe this right back off. So we'll see. I just put a little white on there. 
add gold bell in the center. Oh, I do have silver bell over here. And if this don't look good, I'll just use another one. Let's see. Then y'all can see it a little better. See, there's the snowflake. It looks pretty. You think it could have had a little more buffalo check? I just wanted the little, little something. I didn't want it to overpower the buffalo check. <laughs> yes, I could add glitter to it, and I may have to just wait until... Oh, okay. Look, I painted that side, and so I'm going to turn it over where I can still see the glassy side. And it's white, and you, it still looks like glass. Isn't that pretty? Or red berries. I don't have any... I'm just going to get that all over me. Red berries near me. I may have to add the red berries later because um, they're over there somewhere and I can't reach them. Cut a star from the cookie sheet. And I have red, I have silver bells. That's kind of huge. But there's a bell so y'all can see. It's really big. Oh, yeah, I need to diamond dust, don't I? Yes, the white on the star looks better. It's on the, I put it on the back side. I know y'all can't see it, but see that's the front, the side that doesn't have paint and then I painted that side. So you can still see it, but you can tell that it's like cut. It looks like cut glass. I don't know. It's really pretty though. No red silver bells. I may have to, this may be one of those, I have to sleep on it kind of deals. You know, I have to sleep on it overnight and then come back out here in the morning and go, oh, that's what I'm going to add. Yes, Carol, I have silver glitter. I do. It's up there. <laughs> I keep the glitter far, far away. I don't use it very often. So, yeah, I may just have to think about it. You know, it'll come to me in the middle of the night or something. But look how stinking pretty it is. So then the question is, do I add like snow down here? Like paint this white? Or just leave it as is? Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Need glitter on the snowflake. Yeah, maybe a little smaller one. I may have a smaller one somewhere. I hadn't even gotten my Christmas crafting stuff out yet. That's how, I mean, last week was just a bust. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't get to do a whole lot of much. Yeah, this is metal ribbon from uh, Hobby Lobby Floral Department. It's on like a roll like this. And it does go half off when the ribbon's half off. So, yeah, I think I'll put that. And maybe some red berries on the sides. I think I'm going to sleep on it and maybe put glitter on this. You know how sometimes you just kind of sleep on it and it'll come to you. Presents on the bottom? Yes. I know. I do too, Kim. I think it turned out pretty. It's just kind of like a, a stunning piece. And if I could hand letter, I would probably put Oh Holy Night or Oh Christmas Tree. But I cannot hand letter to save my life. It would look like a little kid wrote it. And it would look terrible. Little packages, like little silver ones. Yes. That would be pretty, too. Isn't it pretty? But like I said, if you don't have this ribbon or you don't have access to go to Hobby Lobby, um, get some cookie sheets from the Dollar Tree, and you could do this same thing. Um, you could paint them different colors. You could put antique wax on it. Um, you could paint them white, brush white. You could do all kinds of stuff with them. And because it is that textured stuff like this, and just cut out your strips to look like this. The silver showing through the green. It does look like snow, doesn't it? The star flower. Yeah. I think it's pretty. I'm going to sleep on it, though, because I may have to silver it up. Yeah, a few clear rhinestones. Yes. See, I'm going to have to um, sleep on it. It's very classy. Yes, Rhonda, I think it is too. I think it turned out very, you know, the black just kind of makes it pop. And I didn't want to just go like with every, everything you see and it's white distressed with a tree. And I kind of wanted to go a little different. 
So, um, that's what I did. Yes, I need to have Lindy put, put, um, Oh Holy Night or something up there. Because she can let her and I can't, I cannot, I just can't do it. She's like, oh yes, you can. I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> Little angels, yes, that would be pretty. Merry Christmas stencil. I know, I don't, but I mean, I have a cricket. I could cut one. Oh, see, so I hope you feel better. You have a good night. Yeah, so I hope y'all try this. This is so stinking cute, but look, I cannot, I'm just, I'm gonna sleep on it. Um, pine combs. See, look at y'all with pine combs and snow. Um, yeah, I, wait, if, if the ribbon's not half off, though, don't get it. I would wait till it was half off. Just, that's just me. Unless you have to make a big trip to go, and then that's the only time you go. Yeah, I don't want to do too much windy because, like you said, sometimes, you know, the simplicity is elegant and I don't want to mess with it. Oh, Christmas tree, yes. I don't know. I'm going to have to sleep on it. Silent night, Phyllis. That's good, too. Thanks for watching, Jean. Painting the star green. Yeah, I could do that, too. I don't know, y'all. I just don't know. But yeah, these are Dollar Tree, so y'all be on the lookout for these little guys. They make good tree topper stars. <laughs> Curly buffalo check ribbon and dangling bells. Oh, yes, like I did for the um, shim tree. That'd be cool, too. I'm going to sleep on it. Night, Heidi. Night, Nilma. Thank y'all for watching Silent Night. Yes, I, that's even the best that I'm thinking. That's like a greatest idea to say silent. You could even put silent and then put night down here. That would look so cool. Oh, ribbon is on sale this week. Okay, that's good to know. So yes, it's half off. So like this is nine feet and it was five dollars and then it so it's half off. So it's two fifty for this whole for nine feet. And you're gonna get a bunch of projects out of this. Um yeah I could add some little something. Presents, I don't know. I'm going to sleep on it, though, for sure. Yes, true simplicity. I think it's pretty, too. Good night, Sheila. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go, too. And like I said, I'm going to sleep on it. And I'll finish it in the morning. And then I'll post a picture so y'all can see. Because, you know, sometimes you just kind of have to think, okay, I need some little time to think about it. Um... But I do love the whole, the whole aspect of the black and the white and the, the splatter. Just that easy. Just something that simple of just splatter and paint can make that big of an impact. Um, that would be cute, Lisa, with a red bow. The tree is out of this metal ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's, I got, there's two different kinds on here. The other one's over there underneath some stuff and I can't get to it. And they are, um, they're on half off this week. So somebody said, oh, two, Dana, two and a half hours away. We're just going to have to move you or they're going to have to build a Hobby Lobby by you. Uh, Hobby Lobby in the floral ribbon section. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. And if you watch the replay, thank you very much for watching. And um, I will see y'all Thursday, but I'll post a picture in the morning. I'm going to sleep on it and think about what I'm going to do. And I'll post a picture tomorrow, guys. I hope y'all give it a try. Y'all have a good week, and I will see y'all Thursday. Bye. Good night. Have a good week. I can't push the button. It's too far away. <laughs> Bye, guys.